Let's get ready for this. One, two, three. What's today, Edgar? Yes, of course. What? It's Monday. It's Monday. Oh Monday. Um, this is my first day of full ketosis, which I'm doing for seven days. So I'm doing full ketosis for seven days. Um, we shall see how that goes. Oh my god, I've got a serious bedhead going on. Um, so yeah, this is part one. I'm going to be tracking it. Um, so today, Wednesday and Friday see how I'm getting on so I'm hoping what this does doing this is it's going to completely deplete my glycogen stores so when I add carbs back in the muscles will hopefully react so the object of going full ketosis see the shot the object of going full ketosis is to complete the to deplete the glycogen stores and then in order to bring them back in my body will would have um, too many people around here. my body would have learnt to completely my body would have learnt to start feeding off of the carbs and using them more efficiently we will see and um, so yeah as I've not left myself much time started six weeks to get ready for the photo shoot um, I'm kind of panicking so this is me just taking I suppose steps that are gonna get me good results a little bit faster so yeah we'll see how it goes but I will keep you updated seriously oh my god look at that sunlight it's just beautiful <laughs> Seriously, the doms in my legs are crazy. And I have no idea why. But I do, I train hard. I train really hard. Um, so on my way to work, loads of people already in the gym. Madness. Absolute madness. And stay tuned because I'm going to add a few more tips go low for Rob. Um, basically so a few tips on how to reduce hunger so I add sugar free jelly in and I'll give you some more tips as we go on but yeah just keep watching see you in a bit just done so I was I tried to in between I did run out and I had some turkey um, as I only had an omelet for breakfast so in between I had to come out and eat because that's five hours otherwise no food and then I've had now I've just had some turkey um, and sort of some veg and some sugar-free jelly Excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, some sugar-free jelly, which was amazing. But I'm still really hungry. But I'm gonna have to get used to this. So my body's just got to adapt today, and probably for the next two days. And then eventually, my body will get used to feeding off solely off the fats. And hopefully, I won't feel as lethargic because I'm feeling really tired. And oh, I've got jelly on me. I'm feeling really tired and well, hungry. So. Hopefully that will fade off during the day a little bit and get a little bit easier during the week. But I'm sure it will. So yeah, that was lovely. Okay, so still hungry. So I decided to have a, um, doesn't look too great, but it's okay. It's cow, spinach. Hey, 
Ginger. This is Jenna. What up, bitches? <laughs> uh, ginger and <laughs> cucumber. She's now hiding. And cucumber. So I'm about to hit a circuit for my training today. As the gym's being refurbed, I've decided just to keep myself out of the way. Um, so I've come into the studio. This one's gonna take me for a class. No, listen. I'm yeah. gonna do some big shuffle on my speed. Oh my god, I'm First thing I will say is I'm already feeling the effects of no carbs in my training. I feel absolutely shattered and energy throughout the session was just, I just crashed really quick. But pushed through, um, I can feel that depleted feeling. I always feel like I'm, <laughs> I need a wee, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, I felt that after spinning and then I finished on some more abs. But the one thing I will say is with removing carbs, I lost what I was. Remove carbs, that was it. Removing carbs, you, your, your recovery after training sessions and so forth, I find, is not as effective. I don't feel I recover as well. I leave my sugar-free mints on the side. Why does it not focus on this? Oh I leave my sugar-free mints on the side because I have ketone breath. And this was a full pot tub. It was a full tub. Oh no, they didn't. Oh no, they didn't. Just took a class and tonight it was brutal. All arms. I even did that. I kind of was trying to think of the song, Sally Up, Sally Down. But I did that, my own little version with press ups for him tonight, which was wicked. And their arms, we'll see you tomorrow. Worst angle of the shard I could have ever shown you is a better view. And the Gherkin building, which you can't really see. So I'm currently munching on celery whilst I was doing the train. I nearly missed my stop. Yeah, it's not great. Now, cardio tonight. It's gonna be a nightmare. Like generally I'm struggling to walk right now with the pain of doms in my legs. I ain't sure if it's the celery season, but this celery tastes unusually good. <coughs> oh nice. It's been a long day. 
a very long day. So, I am going to say goodbye to you all. <coughs> I'm still choking on that celery. Um, all I'm going to do this evening before bed is literally my 30 minutes cardio, which I have to do, which I don't want to do because my legs are killing me after I did spinning. So 30 minutes cardio this evening, which is going to be steady state as I'm full ketosis now. So nice brisk walk. And then I will have an egg white omelette with some vegetables. <laughs> um, as you see, I put some of my Snapchats in. video i'm a little bit crazy on them at fitness fresk yeah please do feel free to add me on there on snapchat um for regular crazy updates and obviously some fitness tips as well and training sessions sometimes on there depending if i'm training with someone which i normally am so yeah please do follow and check out my instagram my twitter all my other accounts they're down in the link below and if you're not already please subscribe the little red button give it a big push like with your mouse or your finger on your phone please um so yeah and i will see you in the next vlog on thursday bye